Peace and blessings, beloved. This is Reverend Empress Chakra Wanda, your favorite intuitive artist and spiritual encourager. Welcome to my channel. Peace and blessings. Uh, beautiful rising to you. It's a very beautiful morning uh, in November. Um, been waking up to 35 degrees, cold outside, but then it changes to 10 and 15 degrees, warmer before the day is out. I wanted to share uh, this morning uh, writing or this rising writing. And um, some stuff, you know, from my journaling uh, and the time that I spend before I move out into the day. So I'm going to be sharing this writing. Uh, the title is Listen to Your Own Voice. Yeah, Listening to Your Own Voice. Um, I'm doing my anointing this morning with uh, the Harmony Essential Oil from Young Living and the Sacred Art of Anointing book. I wanted to share both of those. I'll put a link uh, below. And, um, of course, I'm showing a picture of, of these two items that I use. Also, um... I will put below in description again a link for the oil, a link for the book, The Sacred Art of Anointing. Um, I'm going to put a link for a sound bath that I created for the Harmony oil, um, and then some other links. Perhaps you'll want to take time and browse my playlist for, for sound baths that I've sound baths that I've done, um, a playlist for affirmations, uh, for affirming prayers, uh, a playlist for uh, angel harp music that I've played. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this. This is a writing uh, from this morning reflection. As I, you know, open up to Holy Spirit. In, in my mornings, uh, before getting up and rushing out and doing anything, I like to take time to just center myself. And I encourage others to do the same. To have some sort of reading that you reflect on. Many people love the sacred text of the Bible. And then there's other spiritual texts and knowledge and information share that's out there as well. And one of the most powerful ways is just simply listening, getting quiet, opening up your journal. I like to see it as my writing and my conversation, a dialogue that I'm having with Creator. So I began to write as follows. I'm beginning to feel that period of energetic hibernation encroaching. Not being so visible, but still doing the work of encouragement. There's a different level of power and confidence that goes before us when we let spirit lead through surrender, ignoring the autopilot of the mind. And for me, there is a constant desire to be an encourager, which is me encouraging myself. The process of writing and recording what I'm hearing and from spirit, I, I feel compelled to share as part of my imprint. When I step back and view from my higher self, there's so much distraction to being engaged in these times through social platforms. We tend to jump on the multiple trends to build an audience and stimulate engagement, not knocking it totally, but it takes a lot of energy to maintain a momentum. There's more engagement through the platforms than there is in person. One thing I know for sure is that how I am hearing from spirit as I channel and the way that I express, there's many others who are hearing the same thing that I'm hearing as well. There's so much power that can come from just listening. There's benefits to the visual as well, but listening, I feel, has a higher resonance as it leaves the listener in the space of deeper contemplation. No distraction through the visual. It does depend on what each person is needing for the season they're in. Enter entertainment, 
or inner attainment. In my opinion, oftentimes the visual entertains the physical. Present moment, general reading. Get quiet more often. This is a general reading that I am sharing in this moment that I hear from spirit. Beloved, get quiet more often. For the situation you're needing guidance on, listen to the broadcast through your heart. Create custom affirmations through the heart to retrain your mind. Write, write, write. Record what you hear. Write on your mobile device. Listen daily to your own voice. You know? Yeah. Listen. Do your journaling. Write as if you're writing a letter to God. Put that pen down. Get quiet. Pick it back up. And write as if the divine is writing to you. I dare you. And read. Read that. And record it on your device. And listen. Listen to your voice. Listen to how the divine speaks through you. It's because the broadcast of our world is a constant distraction which can drown out the divine broadcast. That's an illusion just by itself. But you don't have to confirm to it, conform to it. Beloved, just get quiet more often so that you can hear your divine broadcast more clearly. You are truly loved. All right, so I said that I would leave some links below and uh, enjoy the sound bath associated with harmony. Um, let me tell you what's in the harmony oil. You have sacred, sacred sandalwood, lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, orange, peel, angelica, geranium, hyssop, Spanish sage, black spruce, coriander, lemon peel, Roman chamomile, jasmine, palmarosa, rose, oh my gosh, yes, the harmony oil. I absolutely love the Young Living Essential Oils. Um, when my career as a massage therapist, so I have a lot of training in using essential oils for spiritual, uh, emotional, and physical healing. So I highly recommend it. And as a, I am an uh, an Amazon affiliate, so I'm using the link below. You can order, you know, at your own time. Um, I I do have some videos showing the daily ritual that I use for anointing myself before I move out into the world. I, I thought I'd put it in the playlist. If I find it, I'll update the description later. Peace and blessings from you, to you, for you. Um, thank you for listening. And please, if you like this uh, content, like it and follow and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. I love y'all.